Oracle Planning Central Cloud is a modern manufacturing planning solution that helps companies plan, monitor, and respond to changes in the supply chain. In this demonstration, I'll show how Planning Central's advanced user experience helps you visualize planning problems, investigate root causes, and get real-time feedback as you update your plan. When I log into Planning Central, the plan summary view gives me a quick overview of plan health, including any supply-demand imbalances. My plan looks pretty good overall, so I'm going to focus today on how I might reduce inventory costs. Planning Central lets me set up predefined page layouts that isolate different planning issues. I can access my favorite inventory planning view with a single click. In the revised plan summary, the inventory turns info tile shows me that the overall inventory performance is fine, but I suspect that some of my items are still overstocked. The more detailed charts below help me zero in on any specific problems. The sunburst chart at the bottom left shows the average unit quantity of inventory over time at each level of my item hierarchy, as well as the average value of that inventory. The widest slices are the highest volume items. The darkest are the highest value ones. If I like, I can drill into any item to investigate its inventory movement week by week or examine its build materials. The drill two actions are completely configurable. But the chart on the right interests me more right now. There's a bubble for each of my top items sized by revenue. The vertical axis indicates the safety stock required, while the horizontal axis gives the projected available inventory balance. If I'm replenishing stock according to plan, those numbers should normally be close to the same and the bubble should line up at a 45 degree angle. To take a closer look, I can just click on the corner of the chart to expand it. In this case, the violet bubble seems to be out of line. I'm going to tweak my layout again so I can see what's going on behind the scenes. Now I can see the weekly values for each inventory planning measure in the pivot table. But to get a clearer picture of the issue, I want to graph the inventory trend rather than dig through all that data. I can select a three pane layout that keeps my existing views in place while opening up space for a trends chart. Now I can select the pane where I want my new analytic to go and choose a view from a pre-configured set that have been set up. By default, the inventory trends graph shows performance across all items. But if I select the violet bubble, I can see results that are specific to that one item. The sawtooth spikes in the supply plan suggest that there's something wrong in the ordering patterns for this item. But where? Let's take a closer look at the material plan. I can see these spikes are apparent on plant 002, but not on plant 003. What's the relationship between these two plants? Why would it be okay in one plant, but not the other? I'll click on the item to investigate. and I'll drill down to the supply chain bill for this item. The supply chain bill helps me visualize the entire supply chain in terms of the item structure. I can see that plant 002 is supplying plant 003. The ordering patterns at 002 are the likely cause for the buildup in inventory, since plant 002 will hold the inventory until demand materializes at 003. I'll check the item attributes at plant 003 to see why these ordering patterns exist. It looks like plant 002's fixed order quantity is based on a larger batch size than they are currently running. If I set a smaller batch size, I think I can solve this problem. Let's try changing the fixed order quantity to 1750. I'll save my work and rerun the plan to see the effects of my changes. The plan summary view will show the before and after impact, so I'll go back there. I run the plan. And I can see that now the violet bubble lines up better with the rest, so my inventory plan is in balance. In this demo, I've shown how Planning Central's modern user experience helps you visualize planning problems, navigate to relevant details, and intelligently correct supply-demand imbalances. Whether you're new to planning or have many years of experience, Planning Central can improve your productivity.